Uh, first of all, I would like to thank um, my colleague, Supervisor Ellenberg, for leading efforts and asking me to join in this important and urgent referral now to ensure that we act locally. This situation and information are changing on a daily basis. And this is why we need the flexibility to make these funds available as soon as possible. Santa Clara County is one of only eight counties in California that is tasked to accept these refugee resettlements. After 20 years, the U.S. military presence in Afghanistan has finally ended. Seeing the violence and chaos of people literally clinging to the planes leaving Kabul, I'm personally appalled, like many, by the lack of the proper planning of this drawdown. Those who think we are now quote-unquote done with Afghanistan are sorely misinformed. The work is far from over. For our county right here in Santa Clara, our work has just begun. This issue is really personal to me, not only as an immigrant, but because of my year-long serving with the Army boots on the ground in Iraq. Having worked with dozens of local country nationals who provided not only translations, but the invaluable local connections, logistics, and local intelligence that is so crucial for carrying out our missions, protecting our soldiers every single day. Similarly, thousands of local Afghans risked their lives, their family safety to welcome, support, and protect Americans, soldiers, doctors, nurses, teachers, and so many others in Afghanistan. We have built trust, relationship with them, and I'm forever grateful to the many local nationals that risked their lives in Baghdad, like taking alternate convoy routes outside the wire to avoid IED attacks and save my lives and many of my battle buddies. Thousands of the Afghan families in harm's way have supported our troops are still left behind. And for those fortunate enough, fortunate enough to make it to America, the few of them, we must support them like we support our returning service members. Few of them made it out during this chaotic drawdown. And they have protected us then. Now we have the honor, the duty, and the moral responsibility to care for them and their families to transition to the new lives here. In addition, I would like to also add and request that our Office of Immigrant Relations OIR to work with the current providers to provide a report to the Board of Supervisor by September 28th on the current county services for our refugees and what other jurisdictions they are doing regarding resettlement and other humanitarian needs that the county should consider also funding. This will help us understand the funding that will be needed to support these resettlement efforts. And if staff should also continue working with the Afghan coalition and other groups, agencies, and advocates on these efforts as well. Thank you very much.